Hi everyone, my name is Heather McElwain, and our assignment was to do an author-poet-illustrator study. I chose a woman who's not only a children's poet, but she's also a children's author as well. Her name is Louise Gray. Now, our assignment was to make a brochure, pamphlet, however you feel, if you were to go and teach on this person. So I made a pamphlet of her information. The front cover is just her name, with what she is, and a picture of her. And then the next pages are the bibliography and the biography, which we'll get into in a minute. And then the references of the websites I used on the back. Now, this woman has written countless of books and poets, and she's even won countless of awards. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is her bibliography. Um, she did write a few poems. I chose to read the poems, so I included the books in the pamphlet. So that way the people, if they want, if y'all want to go and read the books, you can. It's entirely up to you. But there is four books included. She did write Sweet, which is a very good book. She did write um, A Whisper from Grey, The Island and the Bear, and The Night Box. And those are the four pictures of those books that she's wrote. I've included in there. So if you want, you can go in there and read them. They're, they are really good. I definitely recommend them. I've read all four before I included them in there to make sure they were appropriate. And I do definitely do recommend them because she's a very excellent and very thorough detail writer. Her themes flow currently with the books. She makes it where it's almost like you're in the book where you can see the, um, the visuals of the information from the book happening. It's a very well worth read. <clears throat> so now her, bi her biography, I thought it was really cool. She was born in Scotland, which is somewhere I've always wanted to go, which is one of the reasons why I chose her, honestly. She was actually brought up in Lindsay, which is near the Glasgow, where she's living in Aberdeen for most of her adult life. She is currently now living with her husband and her rescue greyhound, Smokey. Now, her childhood was filled with animals, the poems of Robert Louise, Stevenson, and iconic children's picture book writers such as Margaret Wise Brown, Charlotte Zalatow, Ruth Crass, and Maurice Sendak. Astrid Lindegreen, and Toe Jansen. Now, some of you might not have heard of this. I personally haven't, so I did go research them, and they are some very, very real popular writers, just not as popular as some of the ones nowadays. But they are very well educated. They write very well, and I really did enjoy reading them, so I definitely recommend, if you haven't heard of them, definitely go let maybe one or two of them up. Now, one thing that really, really fascinated me that I really liked about her is she is the director of a dog rescue and rehoming organization. Animals are a problem nowadays because nobody wants to care for them and they see them as just animals when they're family. They're not just animals. The same way as we're not just people. We're all people, we're all animals, we're all family. I mean, and that's something that really touches my heart. And for her to be a dog organization, um, for her to be the director of a dog rescue and rehoming organization, that really shocked me, and I'm really happy to be doing this assignment on her. That is where her dog, Smokey, came from in the first place, is because she found him that way. And so she adopted him. And so that's why I really like this person. I really think she's a great person. So she began writing in 2014, and she has a few successes along the way. This is where I was telling you she's won a couple of awards. So a few of her comments were she was the joint winner of the award winner of the inaugural Manchester Writing for Children's Competition in 2014. She was also the winner of the Caterpillar Magazine Poetry Prize in 2015, which I have a poetry from that um, that she wrote for that prize that I'm going to read to you in a minute. Now she was also the she was also the main prize in the Wigtown Poetry Competition in 2014 as well. Also, she was the winner of the McLellan. Poetry Prize 2017 and the Battered Moons Poetry Prize in 2017. I also have that poetry for you to read because I thought I thought both of them were very well wrote and very detailed, and I want you to see how her poems kind of flow with it for the children. Now she's had two. She's also had two more two books published called The Island and the Bear and The Night Box, which were mentioned for the 2018 Kate Greenway Medal for her book The Night Box. Which, again, both of those, The Island of the Bear and The Nightbox, which are the last two, are included on there. And both of them were published in that time, and The Nightbox was accepted for an award on it. So I definitely do recommend you go read those books. I read them, and I loved them. So, on the back, there is the four websites that I use. Um, a lot of them were, um, a couple of them were the Scottish Library, because I did have to go on an actual library basis to find it. But they are from Scottish, and like I said, it's just, it's a, she's a very interesting person. Now, in the poet 
In the Scottish Poet, which is what she is, the Caterpillar Children's Poetry Prize was just brought out in 2015, and she was the very first one to win it. Doing that, she won a thousand euros for it. Now, this this prize, everybody was saying all kind of stuff. Like, for example, somebody said, "I'm quite stunned and absolutely thrilled that my poem has won." Um, she said that I'm quite stunned and absolutely thrilled that my poem has won the inaugural Caterpillar Poetry Prize. I'm a huge fan of the Caterpillar and was delighted and inspired by the competition. She's a very humble person. She accepts it. She will talk on it and she will help anybody who is in need. Now, and if you have other people who were saying stuff like, and there's certainly a need to introduce children to the very best of contemporary poetry, which is why we published the Caterpillar and why we thought the prize might highlight that. So it was... It's a very good price, and for her to win it on the very first go round, I thought that was very cool. So the poem she wrote was Don't Think of an Elephant. So the poem goes, Don't think of an elephant, Jacob's mother said. Trust me. So Jacob thought of other things instead. He thought of the sea, and the sea is a big thought. It took up a great deal of room in his head, but he learned a lot. He learned that the octopus has a memory, that, and that whales feel emotions, but when he put this to his mother, she bent her head. Don't think of an elephant, she said. But mother, this is the ocean I am speaking to you of great things, of creatures who feel love, who have memories. You speak of an elephant, she sighed. Jacob tried again, but his eyes were glistening with tears. So Jacob thought of the skies and trees and weather, everything that holds the world together. But each wondrous thing of which he spoke broke his mother's heart. Then I will begin again, he cried. And this time, he thought of only one thing, slow and gray and looming. It walked out of the shade and beat in his heart like the well and the ocean, and he felt an emotion, enormous and frail. His mother grew pale. My life will be this now and nothing else. I will give to the elephants all of myself, all of my heart, all that I have. I will breathe for the elephants. Mother, said Jacob, I have found my way. And his mother smiled and knelt to pray. I really enjoy that poem. I like the way it flows together and it gives children a chance to think of everything that poem stands for and everything that poem means. I'm going to let you interpret of how you feel and what you think that poem means because honestly, even though the poem is saying the way it's talking, everybody can interpret the poem differently. And that is something that I did learn while looking and doing the research on this and in the poetry section of our class, that just because you feel... That poems mean one thing. Somebody else can interpret something completely different from it. The way I got that poem is going to be something that different than you got that poem. Now, just because the theme and the setting are going to be kind of similar, however it goes through in you. Some people, everybody's different. Everybody's built differently and everybody, nobody thinks the exact same way. That is why we all interpret things differently. For poetry, there is no right answer. And I think that is one of the reasons why she won because it is so different. It's, it relates to children so much, but it also makes it where the children can relate it to them. So now the second poem I brought for us is just a small poem, and it's the one on here. And it's Open House, it's Invitation. It's Open House for Crocodiles, Dress Code Wear Smiles, Juicy Children for Tea, RSVP. I thought that was very cool. Just so that one is included in there. It's just so you can kind of get a glimpse of what who she is and all. And then the next one I just wanted to read, like I said, was the Battered Moons Poetry Competition that she won in 2017. She won first place in it. And it's If I Say Flower. It's If I Clap the Birds Fly Up. If I Shake My Hand in the Pond, the Minnows Scatter. So why if I say flower, won't you face in the iron gray? Light Return. I am under the you saying flower over and over. My breath is green. My blood is green. I wear an apron of leaves. The air is sobbing. Apology pools in the bird bath. These there are sweepings of dust beneath the trees, but I refuse to leave. I am saying flower and I will say it forever and you will come back. You who not 10 feet away from me bent to the first tiny daisy and say clasping small hands together flower. You said flower. I thought that was a very good poem too. So for an activity for kids, I felt like you can do a theater. Have them pick either whether they like the poems or the book and have them act it out. Have them act it and do the dramatic play. Have them act it and pretend like they are in that poem and have them show them how it relates to them as a person. That way everyone can pick a different but they can all see the different types of variety that you get to choose from for her. Thank you.